Here we go, kids. Terrence Turtle is my name. Turtle dancing, that's my game. Come on, kids. Everybody do the turtle dance. Not having a good time? <laughs> Play the Rugrats video game instead with characters like Tommy, Chucky, even Angelica. Rugrats Search for Reptar. It's a 3D adventure and it's only on PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. What's going on guys? We are live with more Deception 3 Dark Delusion on the PlayStation 1. So, in the last stream we got up to chapter 10, well, chapter 11 technically, but we did 10 chapters and uh, got a couple new traps. We got my Flame Boulder and the Summoning Bear Trap, so that's cool. I still want to get a vacuum floor, but I haven't unlocked those yet. But uh, anyway, let's just get right into this. Chapter 11, Blue Legend. Is that be Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> Alright, as usual, we're just going to skip the cutscenes because... Yeah, we're just going to get right into it. A lot of cutscenes in this game. If you want to play the game yourself, feel free to watch the cutscenes. <laughs> at least it gives you a little summary at the end anyway. Cecilia sees her own little sister in the heroine. She is jolted when she sees Albert and leaves. What is their story? What is the real motive of the Queen Margareta, whom Cecilia serves? Who knows? Alright. Oh, jeez. Right off the bat, I'm being chased here. Oh, that guy's fast. Okay. I might have to leave the room. Oh, come on. This bridge collapses, I believe. I can trigger it right there. I don't want to use that though, I don't think. Alright, let me set some traps here. I'll try and stay in this room. We'll see what happens. Alright, so... I want to put my bear trap... somewhere. There's my bear trap. The thunder claw. I'll put that... maybe here? Wait, where's the... the wheel of death? That Yeah, okay, right here. I'll put that here. And then I'll put down the pendulum, which should hopefully knock the person in the bear trap into the wheel of death. And... Hmm. I don't really have much else that I can use. Not with this combination, anyway. Can I put the arrow slit... here? Yeah, right? Or no. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put... The bear trap a bit closer. Right there. And move the pendulum up. There we go. So now I can trap him in the bear trap, shoot the arrow slit, and hit him into the wheel of death with the pendulum. I think that'll work nicely. So hopefully the summoning bear claw will actually work on these guys. So it doesn't work on everyone, the summoning traps. Okay, it does work with that guy. Cool. Hit him with the arrow slit. And the pendulum. Oh, did I get the other guy too? Ooh, nice. A double. Wasn't expecting that. But I'll take it. Oh, he's dead already. Man, he didn't have much health. Alright. Bear trap again. That works on him too. Cool. Trigger the pendulum. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> wow. These guys are easy. What in the world is happening there? A bit of a glitch. The cutscene is spazzing out. Yep, and a bunch of stuff happened. Wow, that was a quick mission. We're only two bad guys. Okay. Alright, so we got 3,800 Drake. Cool. Ooh, nice. Got the vacuum floor. That's what I wanted. I don't know if I'm going to make one yet, though. So I'm going to make a really good one. We'll see. I'm going to see how much it costs. That way I know I know what my goal is. 
So trap element, trap making, uh, floor trap. As, as cool as the summoning bear trap is, it doesn't work on everyone, so I need to have a backup, which is going to be the vacuum floor. So if the summoning traps don't work on that person, likely the vacuum floor will. That's the theory, anyway. Alright, so make new. Now they do give me a vacuum floor, I can just use the regular one. But it doesn't have that big of an area of effect, I don't think. So I'm gonna make a new one. Let's see, emblem. Make an electric one. I'm not sure what fire would do to it. I guess it would put the floor on fire. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Cold. Impact. Chaos. I wonder what the Chaos Emerald... Emerald? Yeah, the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> I'm thinking of Sonic Adventure here. Or Sonic, period, I suppose. Um, yeah, I wonder what the Chaos Emblem would do. Let's see. Uh, summon. No, I don't want that. Timer. Yeah, I don't want a ring on it. Four orbs to make it as effective as possible. Let's say what it does. Yeah, okay, so two blocks distance versus if I have one, it'll do press it and strap on the its block. Okay, people on its block. Okay, yeah, so within one block and within two blocks. So I want the largest one. I do have enough for that. Nice. Okay, what does the Chaos emblem do? This trap presses people within two blocks distance to it down to the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Let me see what the different ones do. Let's see what the fire one does. The fire sucks its victim sucks victims in within two blocks from it and blasts them away in a two hit. Okay, I don't want it to blast them away. I want it to keep them in place. So I don't want that one either. Electric is always good. Uh, what does cold do? It freezes them. Sucks them in and freezes them. Sounds kind of cool, but I don't, have, I don't have enough for that one. Uh, nope, not the ring. Emblem, what's the last one? Well, that's pretty obvious, it electrifies them. Uh, impact is the last one. What does that do? Keeps people two blocks distance from its block. That's interesting, I don't know why you'd want to do that. <laughs> Basically the opposite of a vacuum floor. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna save up for the cold one. I think it's kinda cool that it would freeze the enemies. So I don't need much more for that, so I just need to do one more mission. And then I can purchase that. Chapter 12, Tracking. The legendary stone enables you to go back and forth in time. If it exists, it can change the past. So that's actually referring to a part of the game where you can actually choose to go to the future or go to the past and change something or don't, I think, something like that. There's a choice you can make that will change the storyline. But that's towards the end of the game, I believe. Anyway. Let's set some traps here. I do like this room. I love that Wheel of Death. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do, I think, the same thing. We'll do the Summoning Claw. Should be directly across from the wall. The Arrow Slit. It's gonna be right here. And the Pendulum. Should make a better Pendulum, too, since I use the Pendulum all the time. I should make a better one. Alright, where are they coming in from? They are gonna come in this door up here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'll wait patiently for them to arrive. Oh, this thing is great. <laughs> Out of all the room traps, this is one of my favorites for sure. Ah, there's one of them. Oh, he looks like he has a crossbow. I better keep my distance. I'll go behind the wheel of death. <laughs> Can't shoot me behind here. Where is he? There he is. Alright. To the bear trap. Shoot him with the arrows. Why did the arrows miss him? I don't understand that. Whatever. He's dead anyway. Ooh, that's a big guy. Come on down here, big guy. Just so I'm not surprised here. Uh, she's gonna come in the opposite door. So, the one over there. Okay. I'm ready for her. This guy has a lot of health. I do hope the summoning bear trap works on him. Come on, buddy. A little bit closer. It does. Sweet. Hey, I got him with the arrow this time. Nice. Bam. Right into the wheel of death. <laughs> he stuck to it. Nice. Brutal. Oh. I don't think the summoning bear trap is going to work on her. Oh, it is. Usually, if they're magic based, like witches and wizards and whatnot, it won't work on them. I guess not in her case, though. Assuming she is a witch. She had a staff of some sort, so I assume she was going to shoot a magical projectile at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, the pendulum missed. Darn it. Well, he's dead anyway. Am I going to die? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, sir. Sorry about that. Nothing personal. Oh, no. Man. Oh, the Thunderclaw is reloaded. Get back down here. Where are you going? He's running away. You coward. Fine, leave. I don't care. Alright, where's this other guy coming from? Or other girl, I should say. Uh, she's coming in the same door. Okay. That's fine. Come to my bear trap. Approach the bear trap. Yes, yes, my pretties. <laughs> Into the wheel of death you go. That's how we do it. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew she was going to shoot something at me. Stop that. I won't get away with it. I wouldn't bet on it. I mean, I will get away with it. <laughs> I'm untouchable. Come on over here. Are you running away again? Yes, you are. What the heck? <laughs> I can't finish her off. She keeps running away. So annoying. Okay, uh, another enemy coming in that same door. Come on. Come on down. Yeah, that's a pretty big guy here. A big club of some sort? No, a giant sword. Well, you won't get close enough to me anyway. You may have a big sword, but it ain't big enough. So take that. Oh, he's gonna land behind me. I should... I should move. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
<laughs> he went all the way around the wheel, I think probably several times. Well, you didn't last long. Get out of the way. Thank you. Bear claw. Get on over to the bear claw, please. I keep missing with the arrows. Oh, whatever. Finally, she's dead. She was a pest. <laughs> Ran away two times before I could kill her. You've killed someone. Do you know what that means? Yes, I do. It means you are no longer alive. All right, where's this guy coming in? He is coming in, in the door over here, I believe. Oops, I didn't want to trigger that. Shoot, that's okay. Plenty of time to reload. Come on. You take a very long time, sir. Serato. Oh, that guy. Oh, he's one of the main characters. He's just gonna run away anyway. Alright, fine. Come down here so I can damage you enough so you'll run away. Like the chicken coward you are. And into the wheel. That should do it. <laughs> I won't die here if it's the last thing I do. Well, I mean, if you did die here, it would be the last thing you do. <laughs> Alright, that should be the end of the chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crawling away like a coward. Mission clear. Sweet, 5200 Drake. That should be plenty to get my new vacuum floor. Ooh, I got the cursed emblem. Hmm, maybe I'll try that. The cursed one doesn't... I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what that does. I think it's kind of like the chaos emerald. I keep saying chaos emerald. <laughs> chaos emblem in that it kind of does random things depending on what the trap is. So, we'll see. Trap making. Uh, floor trap. Vacuum floor. Yeah, so let's try the cursed emblem and see what that does. And I don't want that. Four orbs. Sucks in and terrorizes people within two blocks distance from it, scaring them from the heroine. Ooh, I like that one even more. Ooh. Yes. Okay. I'm doing that one. It's cheaper, too. I'll take it. The cursed vacuum floor. Sweet. Yeah, that'll be handy for the enemies that I don't want to get near. <laughs> Normally I'm pretty good at keeping away from them, but this'll be cool. Terrorizes people. <laughs> it's like Scarecrow from the Batman comics. Scarecrow of vacuum floors. All right. Go to trap equipping screen, yes. Floor, and I would like the pan panic vacuum, please. I'll replace the blast bomb. I never used the blast bomb for anything, so. Ooh, I also want a new pendulum as well. So let me see how much that's gonna cost. I'm sure I don't have enough, because I used a lot of my cash on that vacuum floor. But let's see how much it is. Make a new pendulum. I think the upgraded version of the pendulum is usually a giant hammer. It, it basically launches victims a lot farther than the pendulum does. 
Uh, doesn't really matter for now. Let me just do a Thunder Emblem. I don't think I want summoning. Well, that would be cool, though. I mean, why not, I suppose, right? Yeah. Makes sense. It's either it summons or it doesn't. Okay, so what do I got? Yeah, okay, so it's an electric hammer. And I actually do have enough for that. Okay, let me see what the other emblems do. Uh, fire, I'm, s I'm sure it's just... Yeah, it, okay, it, ex it explodes on contact. I don't like explosions, though, because they tend to be kind of random in the way that they throw enemies. So they might throw them to the left or to the right or up or down or whatever. I like them to be more predictable. It allows me to chain together a lot of different traps easier. So I don't think I want that. Let's see what the cold one does. Hanging snowball that swings and snatches victims. It eventually breaks loose and flies off. That actually sounds kind of cool. I don't know how predictable that would be though. Again. Uh, okay, let me check the other ones. Impact, I assume, is just going to hit them farther, which I don't necessarily need. Alright, let's see what the Cursed Emblem does. A guillotine drops down. It's coated with poison for added effect. Okay, so that's not going to throw them anywhere. It's just a guillotine. I need it to throw the victim. Because I need it. I need that. Alright, let's try Chaos. Let's see what that does. Okay, the Buzzsaw. That one's pretty cool. It drops down from the ceiling and moves in a set direction. Slicing through victims. I like that one, but again, it doesn't throw them. So, uh, you know what? I actually kind of want that. Because while it doesn't serve the same purpose as the pendulum, I can use it in different circumstances. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I want that. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, okay, I have 8,000, cost 11,750. Okay, I'm gonna save up a bit more. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy the regular hammer first. Because I will use that, and I'll replace the regular pendulum with it. And I can get the buzzsaw later. So, that's fine. But what do I want, though? I used... Uh, I think I tried them all, so... Electric is fine. That's always good. We'll do summoning and four orbs. I should have enough for that, I think. It was... What was it? Uh, wait. It cost 9250. Oh, I have 5400. I was reading the wrong line. Okay, so I don't have enough for any of this. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Let's do another chapter, and we'll see if we have enough after that. Mission start. Chapter 13, Past Days. Yes, 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 yes. Storyline, storyline, storyline. It's all wonderful. The heroine and Albert returned to the factory to find the guardstone, but Cecilia's gang was there, and for reasons unknown to her and Albert, they came after her brooch. It's a pretty nice brooch. Okay, uh, where the heck am I? <laughs> what is this room? I don't recognize this room. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't like this room. I'm going somewhere else. That room does not please me. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh. Ooh, a buzzsaw. We have a fireplace. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like that. Alright, I'm gonna stay in this room. I like this room. Alright. I think I would like to throw people into the fireplace. So let's do that. So let's put down a floor trap. 
Should we try the new panic vacuum? Ho ho ho, look at that. I can suck in victims from far away. I like that. Okay. Let's put that there. So that'll take pretty much anyone within that entire corner of the room. <laughs> That's perfect. It doesn't usually work on heavier enemies, though. That's the only problem with it. But we'll try it for now, cause, just because I really want to try it out. And... Let's see... Uh, see, that's the... The wall trap is something that I never really have a use for. At least the ones I have right now. Let me do the arrow slit. I mean, that should work on the vacuum floor, because they're standing in one place once they get to the center of the vacuum. So I'll do the vacuum, then the arrow, and then the pendulum. Knock them right into... I can't put that... No, I can't put it on top of the other trap. I have to put it right behind it. Oops. No, not the flare rock. Pendulum. Right there, and that should... Uh, is that going to be too far away? I'm not sure if that's going to hit him far enough to go into the fireplace. Wait, what happened to my vacuum floor? There we go. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Alright, they're coming in that door. Okay. Come down the stairs over here. I need to make sure I'm far enough away from the vacuum floor. Alright, so they're both coming down at the same time, so that's perfect. I'll wait until they get close to the vacuum floor. And then I will initiate it. There we go. Oh, that doesn't affect him because he floats. But that's okay. Is she going in the fireplace? Yes! Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm being sucked into my own vacuum floor. This is not good. Or is he doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, the vacuum floor doesn't work on him. Let me swap that out for a bear trap. Or the thunder claw, as it's called. Come on, pal. Yeah, see, he does that. <laughs> He's like a human vacuum floor. Stop doing that. It's so annoying. Get over here. Get into the vacuum trap. Or not the vacuum trap, the bear claw. Arrow slip. Pendulum. Oh, the pendulum missed. Shoot. Uh oh. Who's behind me? Someone else is here. I was not warned of this. Come on. No, 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 no. Thunder claw. Oh, don't run. Ah, oh, I ran right into the stinking saw. Whoops. Oh, and I'm in my own trap. Man. Hello, Metal Reloaded. At least he's dead. He's annoying. The human vacuum floor. Stay away from me. Alright, get him in there. Arrow slit, pendulum. Bingo! Right in the noggin. And right into the fireplace. Nice and crispy, just the way I like it. <laughs> Nothing like a crispy enemy. Into the fireplace you go. You're not quite done yet. <laughs> You've got talent. Yes, I do. Thank you for, uh, for seeing that. Alright, that should be the end of the chapter. See if we have enough now for our upgraded pendulum. Toasty indeed, yes. 3600 Drake. Uh, okay, auto ring. That's pretty cool, because that will automatically trigger the trap when an enemy goes over it. I never really used it that much, though. I mean, I guess it could be handy, but I don't know. 
I've always kind of done everything manually. I kind of prefer it. I like to have control. <laughs> Alright. Let's try. Because I forget how much that new pendulum was going to cost me. So, let's see. So, which one did I want? The electric one, I believe? With the summon ring, just for the heck of it. Let's see, how much does that cost? Okay, it's 9250, so I don't have quite enough. Let's do one more chapter first. Okay. Chapter 14. 14. Chapter 13. Crossroads of Destiny. I adopted a southern accent there for some reason. The heroine is embarrassed with the past secrets between Albert and Cecilia. Cecilia now comes to the heroine with an idea in mind. I have the greatest ideas. Alright, I don't like this room. I'm leaving. I'll see you guys later. I do like this room, but I want to mix it up, so I'm going to keep going. here. I'm not familiar with this room, but there are spikes on the wall. I kind of like that. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. I'm gonna try this out. So we have spikes at the bottom of the steps. So, what can I do here? Um, let's put the flare rock down here. Can I put the magnet wall there? No, I didn't think so. That would be too easy. But, I can... I can put the bear trap there, or I can put the vacuum floor there. Let me do the vacuum floor. Yeah, okay, so the flare rock was, will be able to roll down on top of them. And... Um, I guess I can put an arrow slit here. That'll work. Yes. Okay, I need to make sure I'm far enough away from my vacuum floor. That's the only problem with having an ultra-powerful vacuum floor. You need to make sure you're a good distance away. Alright, where's the other guy? There he is. Get over there. <laughs> Arrow slit, flare rock. Oh, I should have triggered the flare rock sooner. I think he's gonna get out of the way. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, no. <laughs> oh, and the spikes hit him. Oh, the flare rock didn't get to him in time. Man. <laughs> Ow. Wait, what hit him? <laughs> Something hit him. Okay, whatever. I'm not complaining. Vacuum floor. Arrow slit and flare rock. I need to make sure... Okay, I got the flare rock in time this time. Alright, get him with the spikes. Come on, spikes. There we go, and flare rock. Sweet! Oh yeah, this is like an ultra adult version of Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, brutal edition. <laughs> this game is so much fun. Without a doubt, one of my favorite PS1 games. I really need to try the other two on PS1 as well. The original two, Deception 1 and Deception 2. I've never played those. Come on over, buddy. 
approach the vacuum floor, please? Why do they always turn around? <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't matter to me. All right, flare rock. I always forget to trigger the flare rock ahead of time because it takes a while for it, get, for it to get there. Oh, he's too quick. Shoot. Of course it had to be the quick guy. Oh, the flare rock explodes. That's what hit the other guy. I didn't realize it exploded. Okay. Vacuum floor. Flare rock and arrow slits. Ow. Man, didn't get my combo. I always like to overkill on this game. <laughs> you need to overkill. Not just kill them, overkill them. But yeah, you definitely want to get combos because you'll get more points. The more points you get, the more cash you have to spend on weapons. Or traps, I should say. Bingo! <laughs> oh, come on, wall spikes, wall spikes! Where are the wall spikes? Oh. I'm gonna turn out the lights, huh? Doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna stand here and turn on my vacuum floor. <laughs> Bingo! Oh, she's dead. Three hit combo. Dead as nails. Oh no, I can't see anything. I know, none of us can see anything because you turned the lights off. <laughs> no duh. Alright, couple more guys coming in here. Oh. That Barbarossa, or Barbarossa guy, I think, if I remember right, he's a pretty big dude. And I don't think the vacuum floor will work on him. But we'll see. Alright, where is he coming in? Gonna make sure no one's coming in behind me, since there is a door right behind me. I don't like surprises. <laughs> Alright, which one is this? That is Barbarossa. Well, he's not that big. There are bigger guys. Come on over, pal. There we go. Some of the heavier enemies are a little more resistant to the vacuum floor as well, so they won't get sucked in as quickly. But some of them are completely resistant to it, I believe. Unless it's just the magicians. It might just be the magicians. Well, that arrow slit actually didn't hit him. He blocked it. But it doesn't matter because it actually stopped him from moving. So it kind of served a purpose. So I could trigger my vacuum floor and suck him in. Oh, there's the other guy. Oh, come on, vacuum floor. Vacuum floor. Oh, man. Oh, no. What is he doing? Hey, 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 pal. Don't do that. What the heck are you doing? Does he have a flamethrower? Or flame hands? <laughs> there we go. That'll do the trick. Come on, flare rock. You know, I think I destroyed the wall spikes. I think the flare rock probably destroyed them after the first use. Oh well. There we go, vacuum floor again. Arrow slit, flare rock. Just gotta get a nice rhythm going, you know? One of the original rhythm games. <laughs> I finished him off with the with the arrow slit. <laughs> arrow slit really doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but 
They can finish off a weakened enemy anyway. Hey, don't be holding a knife to my throat. That's rude. Okay, oh. I can't skip this cutscene. Apparently it's an important one. Oh, that's right too. I think this is one of the cutscenes where you have a choice to make. That's why. I'll kill you right now. She wants the legendary stone so you can help her or something or other. I don't know. <laughs> if you help her, she'll help you. I don't help anyone. I help myself. Well, are you coming or not? Nope. Uh, you better rethink who's gonna die. Because it ain't gonna be me. I'm fine. I'm good to go. Nice. 4,400 Drake. That's plenty for my new trap. You got the rising emblem. I forget what that one does. That's interesting. I'm going to apply that to the pendulum and see what it does. Probably not something I'm interested in, but you never know. All right. Actually, it does say kind of sort of what it does. Gives a rising attribute to the trap. <laughs> well, okay. Summon four orbs. This yo-yo spins down and rolls three blocks. It rams through victims, flinging him up. Rams through victim. Oh, rams through victim, flinging him up. Eh. 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 I'm not really interested in that. I will take my electric hammer, please. Nice. Oh, look at that beauty right there. <laughs> I'm gonna do some damage with that. Alright, so let's replace the regular pendulum with my new one. Thor hammer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Out of the way, regular ordinary pendulum. The Thor hammer is here. Chapter 15, Poison. The heroine receives a mysterious message. She and Albert go, go to the secret base, the Batcave, <laughs> knowing that they would meet in ambush. Christina appears before them there. Mission start. All right, I don't like this room. It's too tiny. I need space. I need space to do my thing. There's a swinging pendulum in here already. Nice electric chair there. Yeah. Still don't like this room. What's this room? Ooh, I don't like this one at all. It's tiny. Uh, hello. Wait, am I back in the same room again? Okay, fine. I'll use this room. I must be in a really small building. They don't give me many choices of room. That's fine. I can deal with it. Uh, I don't think I really need to use the Thor hammer here. Alright, I'll save that for later. 
still need a better wall trap. There's some pretty nice arrow slits you can get as upgrades. There's a, a chain arrow, I think it's called, something like that. It shoots multiple arrows at once. That one's pretty cool. Uh, this one at the bottom of the stairs, I guess. I'll use my summoning thunder claw here, because the room is too small for the vacuum floor. I'll end up sucking myself in. Yes. Listen to the bear trap. Oh, jeez. What? What happened there? Oh! Bolter is coming back the other way. Oh, jeez. You missed. Oh, jeez. I ended up getting him with the boulder anyway. Oh, I got myself with the boulder, too. D -d -d double hit. Uh, excuse me. All right, let's try the thunder claw again. I don't know what happened there. There we go. It worked that time. Boom. Goodbye. Perfect. You did. <laughs> Just limping along now. Oop, oh, finished him off with the arrow. Alright, Goa. Come on in. Come on down. Dun -dun 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 Oh, you're a quick one, aren't you? Well, that's fine. You'll quickly go into my bear trap. And... Boom! Are you dead? You dead. You dead, man. Oh, and Christina. Good old Christina. Should have killed me when you had the chance. But hey, can't go through life with regrets. Oh, she, okay. She is not affected by that bear trap. Okay, I need to replace that. I can't replace it until it reloads. Shoot. Or untriggers, I guess. <laughs> I'm poisoned. Ah, stop poisoning me. Very rude. All right, the vacuum floor should work. I think I just need to make sure I'm I'm away from it when I trigger it. Where is she? She's right there. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh man, she is so fast. Okay, I got her. Flare Rock is on its way. Bam. Alright, I got you now. Oh, now you... Stop doing that. It's so annoying. There, take that. Arrow Slit, Flare Rock. Take it all. You get the triple combo meal. And you almost dead, because you're just going to run away, as usual. Oh, my head. I feel so sick. Of course you do. So many excuses not to die. Mission clear. Sweet. 3600 Drake. I got the charge ring. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know what that is. It will make the trap recharge faster. That's always nice. Alright. So, I don't think there's anything I want to make at the moment. But, 
Let me see how much the upgraded arrow slit will cost. Because I want that, eventually. Eh, fire arrows would be cool. There's also a damage ring, which I don't think I have yet. That will add extra damage. A charge ring would be nice, although the arrow slit does recharge pretty fast anyway. It might be kind of a waste. Automatic would be cool too. Yeah, maybe that would be good. I don't know, let's see how much it'll cost. So, regular fire arrows. This oh, fireballs, okay. Fireballs fly along the floor and explode upon contact. That I don't like. Again, I don't really like explosions because they're unpredictable. So, let's see what else we can get. Electric arrows. Uh, chaos, I don't know what that does. Oh, chain needles. That's the one I like. It fires multiple in a row. Okay. Alright, this is my goal right here, the chain needle. I need 15,000. And I have 7,750, so I have a bit to go. Okay. Chapter 16. Awaking from a Nightmare. I don't think it's a, it's a nightmare. I, I think it's actually pretty good. Pretty good dream. If it's a dream. I thought it was all real, though. Seems so real. I mean, I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, the enemies are the ones feeling the pain, so... <laughs> The heroine saves a little girl, Cecilia in Cupido. Cupido? Cupido? Cupido. Distrust Miguel once he joins the queen. Oh, I, I mean, you really can never trust Miguel. I really couldn't follow the story too much, even when I did watch the cutscenes for this. I've played through the game probably a few times at this point, at least. And yeah, I could never really follow the story all that much. All I really know is I'm playing this girl that's... I believe possessed by the devil or something. That's how she makes the traps. I don't know. Something along those lines. And I'm just supposed to kill these people that are coming after me. Hey, it's self-defense, huh? I have not killed anyone that hasn't tried to kill me first. That is the definition of self-defense. Oh, hello. Well, feel free to drop in. <laughs> All right, let's try my new pendulum out here. The Thor hammer. Oh, hey, Hunter. No, it's not murder, self-defense. I am being attacked. From the very beginning of this game, people have been coming after me, trying to kill me. What else can I do other than kill them? <laughs> no, I don't want the flare rock. Thor hammer. Did I put that in the right place? There we go. Right there. And... Um, try the vacuum floor, I guess. Technically, the Summoning Bear Claw would actually be a little bit better under most circumstances because it doesn't suck me in. <laughs> I am not attracted to the Bear Trap, but they are. So it gives me an advantage. Alright, where is this guy? Is he not in the vacuum floor? What happened? Oh, I forgot that was a summoning... <laughs> oh, I forgot so Thor's hammer summons the enemies. So I technically don't even need the vacuum floor or the summoning bear trap. Because I have a summoning Thor's hammer. I don't think I've ever used the summoning ring on a 
pendulum before. I actually kind of like that. So even if the vacuum floor doesn't work, how did you get up there? You stupid ninja. <laughs> oh man. I hate ninjas. Unless I am a ninja, then it's cool. When other people are ninjas, I don't like them. Stop doing that. Oh jeez. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out. No, 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 ow. Ow. Oh, the hammer missed me, okay. All right, it's fine then, I'm good. Actually didn't lose much health. Curses, I guess I've failed too. Yes, you have. You fail, you fail, you all fail. Everyone fails except for me. I never fail. I'm a winner. Doobie doobie doobie. Come on in. Next contestant, come on down. I'm having too much fun with this game. It should be illegal. So that's the thing with the summoning traps too, is they don't trigger right away. They will summon the enemy first, and then they'll go off. So I have to keep that in mind and make sure I trigger the hammer a bit ahead of time. Not that it really matters, because it summons them anyway, so. But I've kind of doubled up here, so I have the vacuum floor and the summoning hammer. Technically, I don't even need the vacuum floor now. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to look at my traps here. Can I replace this with something else then? No. Don't really have anything I want to use. That's fine. Oh, you again. Ah. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. Could have sworn I saw her over there. Where are you? <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> she jumped up in the air and then I triggered the vacuum floor. <laughs> she ended up just falling out of the air. That's hilarious. Don't do that. I do not approve of you throwing arrows at me, or ninja throwing stars, or whatever it is. There, take that. Now, how can she not be dead after this? I know she's not going to be, because she's still going to run away. Like the yellow coward she is. <laughs> yep. Forty-six hundred Drake. I have the slave emblem. Hmm. Ooh, damage ring too. Sweet. I forget what the slave emblem does. A lot more emblems in this than I remember. <laughs> I think there's one you get at the very end too. Just curious what that one would do. Uh, what was I making? I was making the arrow slits. Just want to see what the slave emblem does with that. Trap becomes controllable. Well, technically it already is controllable. 
At least as far as triggering the trap, anyway. So what happens? A rolling bomb. Oh, okay, so I can control, or directly control a rolling bomb. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I don't particularly want to control my traps. I let them do their own thing after I trigger them. That's how I roll. Chapter 17, Revolt. Good game. <laughs> you don't know what I'm referring to, it's Revolt on the Dreamcast, the RC car racing game. A lot of fun. It's also on PC as well. And was it, did it come out on PS2? It might have. But yeah, fun game. Absolutely nothing to do with the chapter in this game, but it reminded me of that. A weakening Albert tells the heroine his past with Cecilia, and the brainwashing of Christina fades. Cupido. Cupido, Cupido, Cupido. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I guess it's Cupido, Cupido, something like that. He is interrogated, and then dot dot dot. Then what? <laughs> then I kill more enemies. All right, what's this room? I am not familiar with this room. There's a knight. The knight probably does something. There's a trigger here, which I think. Ooh, if I remember right, yeah, that. Makes this wall close in. Squishes someone in the middle here, I think. What's through this fancy door here? Can I go through here? No. This looks like a temple from Indiana Jones. <laughs> Is the Holy Grail through here somewhere? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Gardok? Y'all have weird names. Oh, jeez. I did not want to fall in there. Um. How do I get out? Oh, she crawls out automatically. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like that. A little, a little pit in the middle of the room. I can use that. If I can figure out where the pendulum throws someone, so it might take a little bit of testing first. Let me try the hammer. I could just put the hammer down by itself because it's a summoning hammer. So we'll see if that will throw them into the pit. Alright, if you don't mind here, buddy, why don't you come over here? to this hammer here. I just want to do a little bit of an experiment. There we go. Oh, what happened there? It hit the... <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, that, sh that, that was a bad test. Bad test. Alright, now it should work. Oh, what? You're not cooperating. You're a bad guinea pig. Alright, come on. Oh, he runs out of the way immediately. That's stupid. Alright, I need something else then. Let me put down... Well, we know he's susceptible to the summoning, so let's put down the Thunderclaw. Where's the pendulum? Where's my pendulum? What? Ow. Does not show it. Yeah. Okay. It didn't show it on the map because it was already triggered. I don't know why. Whatever. Alright. Let's put that there. There we go. <laughs> So much summoning going on. Oh, man. I should have just did the bear trap. This is not going well. This experiment is failing. This is experiment. This experiment is failing. All right, get into that bear trap. Oh, 
There we go, finally. Ah, a little bit too far. Okay, so I need to move the hammer back one block. And that should do it. Wait, what? Am I supposed to... Okay, never mind. I need to change rooms anyway. I didn't realize I was supposed to go somewhere. I probably wouldn't know that if I actually paid attention to the cutscenes, but whatever. Where am I going here? There was a door that unlocked. Was it this one? I'm guessing it was. There we go. Oh, another one of you guys. Actually, can I have him follow me into the other room? I want to do the pit. Ah, never mind. Whatever. Yeah, this is a pretty nice room. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's put a flare rock right here. Put the claw right there. And the arrow slit right here. That's kind of unoriginal, but whatever. Sue me. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. Didn't see that guy. Oh, come on. Get into my better trap. Well, it takes care of him anyway. I don't like you throwing fireballs at me. Very rude. Come on, trigger flare rock. There we go. And you're not quite dead yet. Unacceptable. You need be dead. See, you get out of the way in time. Y you did. Okay. Well, you're no fun. Wait, how can you go from limping to running? Were you faking it this whole time? Oh, the flare rock is not triggered. It's not recharged, I should say. <laughs> there we go. You stupid pest. Okay. Door is now unlocked. Which door was that? Was that this door? That's not a door. <laughs> is it this door? Ooh, you're a big guy, aren't you? Ooh, I remember this room. There's a nice fireplace here. It's nice and toasty. Ooh, there's a pit of lava up there as well. I do like that. But I remember the fireplace being quite nice. So let me do the Thor hammer. Right about, I guess here. I'm gonna do the vacuum floor. I think that's what I want here. And the arrow slit right here. Come on over, boys. Oh, I remember this guy being quite a pest. What happened to you? I didn't even do anything yet. 
<laughs> the thing fell from the ceiling and hit him. <laughs> nice. Oh, the hammer didn't work. It hit the thing. The hammer hit the thing, man. That's stupid. Okay. That arrangement of weapons is not working. Oh no, I'm dying. I'm dying. I need to be really careful here. Um... Okay, what to do, what to do, um... Thor hammer obviously doesn't work there. Let's go back to the... Actually... No, I'm gonna take it safe here. I wanna be creative, but... I'm so close to dying, I really need to take it easy. Or take it safe, I should say. I don't think the summoning trap works on both of them. I don't think. Alright, let's go with that. That's a classic combo. Okay, they're both coming. the vacuum floor once they're both fairly close to it. There we go. Oh, is that what the fireplace does? <laughs> Come on, recharge the vacuum floor. Oh no, they're gonna surround me. Okay, I need to get them both together again. Now, why are you standing at the top of the steps? Oh, I don't like this. What are you doing? Oh, jeez, I'm trapped. Okay. I need to run around. Run around this guy. Down the stairs. Quickly, quickly. Swiftly and quickly, 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 flickly. I don't know. <laughs> why do you keep going down opposite steps? Stop trying to surround me. I don't appreciate that. Oh no, I'm dead. Man! <laughs> they ganged up on me. I don't like that. Oh. Alright. I'll have to do the chapter over again. I don't think it lets me start over from those two enemies. I think I have to do the... Or go back to the very beginning. Curse you, game. Curse you. Revolt. Fun game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, d I did some stupid things that time, so, like falling in the pit. <laughs> So if I don't do that this time, I should be okay. There's also a health thing here. I could come back for that if I need it. Alright, you. Something like that. He fell in the pit by himself. 
Why didn't you do that last time? Ow! Oh, made the same mistake again. Need to get him into the bear claw. There. There we go. Takes care of Gardok. On to enemy number two. the regular bear trap. Uh, no, not that either. I want the claw. Do the same thing I did last time. Claw right there. Arrow slit right there. Flare rock. Right here. Get over there. Bingo! He's not quite dead yet. And you're barely clinging on to life, aren't you? Stay away from me. guys crawling up the stairs <laughs> into my bear trap oh come on really all right fine you want to play that game are you kidding me how do you I killed that guy. How the heck did you get away from that? You can barely walk. <laughs> oh, that was too soon. Shoot. Right, I'm gonna hit him with the arrow. There. That'll do the trick. I'm here for my revenge. You know what? I want to be a little bit more creative this time since I actually have some health. So we're going to do the panic vacuum right in the middle here. And then we're going to do the Thor hammer. Which is going to hit them right into the lava. And. Mm, arrow slit, I guess, here. Right there. Actually, you know what? I can put the arrow slit up against the lava wall, too, I believe. Yeah, right there. That'll work. Come on down, boys. Oh, I forgot he does that. Shoot. Oh, no. Well, I did have a lot of health. No longer, though. <laughs> Is that going to do anything? Nope. Too far away. 
All right, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some health. Oh, I can't go back. Shoot. What the... What's the point of putting that health thing there if I can't go back and get it? <laughs> I don't need health at the very beginning of the mission. Oh. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh, I tried to get too creative. I really need to just... Just do it safe with these guys. Shoot. Alright. Yeah. Oh, wait a sec. Did that save? I didn't mean to quit. Well, I mean, I did, but I thought it would go back to the main menu. What chapter is that on? Oh, no. I have to go back to chapter 11 now. Oh, man. Shoot. I did not mean to do that. Well, I was going to end the stream here anyway. <laughs> I'll have to just play through those again off stream. That way next time I'll be back to where I was. That was stupid. I've done that before too. <laughs> I don't know why they give you that option to quit without saving, but whatever. Anyway guys, that's it for the stream for now. We'll continue this next time. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you next time.